Subscribe to the African Fighters! Kamaru, the Nigerian nightmare Usman, has been dominating the MMA world, or the UFC in particular. Currently, he's arguably the number one pound for pound MMA fighter in the whole world. Today, we are going to be looking at 10 things we learned about Kamaru Usman on his appearance in the Joe Rogan experience. It has to be noted that Kamaru has been on the Joe Rogan experience twice. One in 2019, immediately he won his welterweight title from Tyron Woodley and the other one in 2020. We are going to be paying attention to the 2019 appearance. My name is Jabril from the African Fighters and here are 10 things we learned about Kamaru Usman from the Joe Rogan experience. The very first time Usman watched a UFC fight was with John Jones. This was when Kamaru visited his friend Johnny Bones in college for a whole week of fall break. Usman and Jones were in their freshman year as college wrestlers. At the time, there was only a few black wrestlers around the college circuit. During Usman's visit, Jones and Usman went to a college party. At the party, there was a UFC fight playing on TV. Usman and Jones watched. Usman even admitted someone told them at the party that wrestlers like them can indeed transition into MMA. But John Jones had a big argument saying wrestling is about control and MMA was too weird for them. Also another shocker is during Usman's stay in the same college as John Jones, Usman stayed in the same room that Kobe Covington lived in when he got admitted the next year. Remember that video of Kamaru Usman and Tyron Woodley's mom hugging each other after Usman defeated Woodley for the waterway title? Apparently, Usman had already known Tyron Woodley's mom. They have met a couple of times long before the fight. Usman also admitted that him and Woodley are closer than people realize. Usman said that if he could choose who he would dethrone for the waterway title, it wouldn't have been Tyron Woodley. It was at this point that Joe Rogan and Usman was looking at the video of Tyron Woodley's mom that. Joe Rogan started crying too. And keep on working because it's so tough for you. And you take it to him. It's all good. Wow. That's amazing, man. Yeah. Oh, and shit, even Tyron, the way Tyron handled it's crazy, right? It makes me cry. Something in the air over here. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, I got it. Dude, I got in it here. too. <laughs> Usman was very open about his body and all the surgeries from wrestling. Usman admitted that wrestling can take a toll on a human body, that he currently has six surgeries done to his knees, four meniscus surgeries and two bone tissue fracture. He admitted that this is why he has very bad knees and he has not gone running for over five years, which is quite surprising for the amount of cardio he has. Usman explained that wrestling takes a toll on the human body. Even when he fought Tyron Woodley for the welterweight title, he came into that fight with a broken foot and a double hernia. Immediately after the fight, he got his hernia surgery done. One name that was repeatedly coming up in the interview was Sugar Rashad Evans. Usman has admitted that Rashad Evans is the sole reason why he joined MMA. It was a time that Rashad Evans brought Usman in to help him in his training camp with his wrestling. At the time, Usman was living at the Olympic Training Center as a wrestler. Rashad convinced Usman to join MMA. Now, Usman left the Olympic Training Center because his injuries from wrestling started piling up and he moved to Florida to live with Rashad in the same house while he transitioned and became an MMA fighter. Usman admitted that Rashad Evans is also his mental coach. Whenever he feels pressured or depressed, he always calls Rashad for advice before he calms down. Usman was not shy to admit that Rashad played a big role in his life and he would forever be grateful to him. Kamaru Usman may be popular for winning the Ultimate Fighter Season 21. But what people don't know is that he made an appearance in the Ultimate Fighter Season 14, Bisping vs Mehan Miller. At this point, Usman was a full-time wrestler, so he came in as a wrestling coach for Tim Miller. This was the same season as TJ Dillashaw. At the time, Usman was living at the Olympic Training Center as a full-time wrestler with dreams and aspirations of being an Olympic wrestler. Kamaru also explained where he got the name Marty from Nebraska from. He admitted that the name Marty came from his wrestling coach in high school. This high school was not even in Nebraska. So when Usman signed up for the high school wrestling, the coach was calling the names and he got to Usman's name. And Usman's full name is Kamaruddin. The coach couldn't pronounce the name and reluctantly said, I'll call you Marty. 
This was how Mardi became popular in high school. So when Usman got a scholarship to go wrestle in college, the college he went to was University of Nebraska. So now he was a Mardi wrestling kid that goes to Nebraska University. Hence why he is Mardi from Nebraska. Usman admitted that he was very dominant in the college circuit. Usman opened up about how hardworking his Nigerian immigrant family is in the US. He admitted that their first sibling, Dr. Cash, is a doctor in pharmacy and his little brother Mohammed was a college football player who almost made it into the NFL but switched to MMA. As at the time of the interview, Mohammed was a fighter in Titans FC but today he is in the PFL heavyweights and also his baby sister who is a nurse. When Kamaru Usman's partner was pregnant with his daughter, Usman admitted that he was a broke fighter who was living with another man who is Rashad Evans and sleeping on his couch. He felt that he could not keep on asking Rashad for support when he has a daughter on the way. Usman admitted that his daughter being born was the spark he needed in life. At the moment the opportunity of the Ultimate Fighter Season 21 came, Rashad convinced him to join where he won the Ultimate Fighter finale and became the Ultimate Fighter. Usman got signed by the UFC on a 10 and 10 contract and Usman has not looked back since then. Usman admitted about his undying love for his daughter, which I'm pretty sure everybody knows about. Usman was not shy to talk about his MMA exit strategy. Now you have to keep in mind that this was in 2019. This was before Usman became the superstar he is today. He spoke about doing commentary on Titans FC. He spoke about being an MMA analyst and also featuring in movies. Now just imagine Kamaru Usman and Francis Ngannou in the next Black Panther movie. These were his words, not mine. Usman spoke about his nickname, the Nigerian Nightmare. He admitted that there have been two Nigerian Nightmares before him. The first is Christian Okoye, a Kansas City running back in the NFL, who was a beast. And the other was Samuel Okon Peters, a former WBC heavyweight champion. He felt inspired by these Nigerian Nightmares who were causing terror in their respective fields. Both Christian Okoye and Samuel Peters were all present when Usman dethroned Woodley for the coronation of the new Nigerian Nightmare. Well, there you have it. Did we miss anything? You would know if you had listened to the podcast. But if you haven't, you are very welcome. Feel free to talk about all these things in the comments. And make sure you like, subscribe as we grow. We out, the African fighters. Come on, Africans! Oh.